I don't know what it is about health systems, but on my health bar tutorial, people were absolutely lost because I didn't show my player health script. I mean, I own that one, I should have shown it, but I thought two integers wouldn't be a problem? Eh, that's my bad. Anyways, since so many people had trouble, this time let's go a little more in depth on what a simple health system looks like, but first, let's start with a real world example. I want to explain this using something practical like a pineapple. Yeah, we'll go with that. Now, this may surprise you, but I'm actually a pretty strong guy, and that means I can probably hold three pineapples at the same exact time. I know, pretty impressive. And what that means is if somebody tried to give me an extra pineapple, well, like, there's no way, it's not gonna happen. I only have two hands, I'm not Goro from Mortal Kombat. Three pineapples is my limit, or the maximum amount I could hold at one time. And on the flip end of that, if some crazy event happened and I lost one of my pineapples, like I dropped it, or someone stole it, or Goro ate it or something, well then, I would have two out of my three pineapples I could hold. And if that same event happened two more times, well then I would have zero pineapples, and because of that, I would die and lose the game, and we'd have to reset. Um, yeah, does that clear it up? No, it doesn't? Okay, good. So then let's just go into Unity, create a C-sharp script, call it health, and double-click that thing and open it up. At the beginning of the video, I did mention there was only two integers, and I wasn't lying. So let's go ahead and put those integers back into the script. We simply just need to capture our max health and our current health. So for simplicity's sake, we can say public int max health and public int current health. And so I'm actually going to default the max health to three, like our pineapples. And you don't have to do this, but I'm going to set the current health equal to the max health on the game start, so that every time I rerun the game, it resets my health and I'll get rid of my update function. And so back in the editor, we can click on this health script and drag it onto our player. This is the scene I was using in my health bar tutorial. I'm not gonna recover how to make this health bar in this tutorial. You can just go ahead and watch that really fast. It's not too long. But basically, we're just using the current and max health values. So now if we click on our player, there's a lot of other components being used here, but the main one here is the health script. And since we set the max health default to three, that's what it is, and current health on game start will also be set to three. So let's go ahead and take this one step further. Let's make it so when we walk into one of these arrows, it actually does damage and reduces our health. It's important to note here, it doesn't matter exactly what's causing the damage, you don't have to have this exact projectile arrow set up, because in our health script, we're just gonna make a method that can be called from any way you want in your particular game. So let's go ahead and create that new method. We'll call it void take damage. And for now, we could set an argument for an integer. So we could say int amount. We can either subtract by this amount, or if you wanted to, you could have no argument and then just like decrease your current health by one or something like that. But what I'm gonna say is current health minus equals amount. Pretty straightforward. But now the question becomes, what if one of these arrows ends up doing more damage than our health has, right? So if I have three health, what if these arrows did five damage? Then I'd be negative, in which case we would be dead. So we need to put in a check. We need to say if, our current health is less than or equal to zero. Well then guess what? We're dead. And from here we could play a death animation and then just show the game over screen. On this player in this game, I do have an animator set up and in the animator controller, I do have a dead animation. And it goes from the idle or running state to dead basically when we set the condition for is dead is true. I'm not gonna show you how to wire up an entire animation in this tutorial, but what we could do is make a reference to our animator. And on the script, we could drag our animator into the reference. Once we have that reference, when we die, we can simply say anim.setbool is dead, which is like a variable I created, and we'll set that to true. This is very particular to my game. Your game is probably going to be different. So you don't even need to have an animation and you don't even need to have projectiles, but this is the script for my arrow. And so on trigger enter 2D, if it collides with the player game object, then basically we just search for a health component. And if it finds one, then we simply want to say health component dot take damage, and I'll just pass in one for now. But basically, anywhere you're doing your damage, you just want to get a reference to the player's health component, call take damage, pass in a value or not, depending how you set it up, and you're good to go. And so now when we play the game, we can walk into our arrows, and once we start getting hit, you can see it decrease one, two, zero, and then we enter our death animation. And I can still move, because we didn't add that. And I'm purposely not going down the rabbit hole of trying to show you how to make it so when you're dead, you can't move and do all that stuff. I know that's useful, but every single game is different. 
Uh, and at the core here, you basically just have two values, a max health and a current value, and you're just managing that. And maybe you level up and you increase your max health by one, uh, but that, you know that's really it. So anything more than that, I think is really custom to everybody's individual game, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna try and keep this as generic as possible, which leads us to the inverse of taking damage, which is healing damage. So we can actually just copy take damage and paste it right underneath. And I'm just gonna call this method heal. And so instead of minusing the amount, we can simply say plus equals the amount. Instead of checking if it's less than zero, what we wanna check is if it's greater than the max health. If our current health is greater than the max health, like if we have three out of three health and we get healed again for one more, we don't wanna set our current health to four because that breaks what we're allowed. Um, unless you don't have a max health in your game, which is up to you, but assuming you do, then we simply wanna say current health equals the max health. This will make it so it gets capped always at the max health. And so to test this, I'm gonna set the current health to one at the start, just so we are always weak. And in my projectile script, instead of take damage, I'll just say heal for one. And so now I have one out of three health. If I walk into these arrows, they should actually give me a health back. So that's two, that's three. Uh, and I don't know if it would even show on the health bar if it was going over, but we can pause it now that we've been hit a couple times and take a look at our player. And you'll notice current health is still equal to the max health. So it isn't in fact going over which is good, that's exactly what we want. So I think I'm actually gonna wrap this tutorial up here. One last thing I'll add is if you wanted to play some sort of sound effect during your damage or healing, you could probably do that anywhere. You could play a sound effect here. Same with the heal method, somewhere at the top would probably be fine. And I know there's a ton I could cover in this tutorial, so please let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you would like me to cover that I didn't hear or I glossed over here. And I could definitely make another tutorial and go more in depth in it. But I definitely think in terms of just having a health system at all in your game, this is the starting point. You have two values, you manage them, you increase them, you decrease them, you cap them off. And that's that, that's, that's it. That's the health system. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, like, okay, bye.